A week, oh uh, shoot, I, I wish I could tell you exactly how many pounds I go to, but it's quite a bit. I get, like I said, I work Monday to Friday from 8 to 4, and every day I go out, a truck's completely full of recycling. And it takes me two and a half hours to pick it up, then it takes me the rest of the day to go through it, sort it, and put it in the white containers. start on the sister's side first, then I end up on the college side. Then I stop at the sister side because I go from Owens to Express Hall, then I go to the, the, uh, the fair and the library and the Garen and then come all the way around to Old Sinusy. Then I come around here and go get the, the, the rest of the bicycles on the sister side. I do find some stuff that I can't recycle, but I mean, maybe, you know, they really don't know exactly what we, we can do recycle, but I guess uh, Roseanne might have something on the internet, on the website or something that's stating at all what we do recycle. But sometimes I do get something that, you know, I open it up and I end up throwing it in the trash because I didn't want to go through it because it's, you know, it's not supposed to, I don't supposed to recycle it. Well, what I normally do, I go through it all, put it in the Gaylords, I stack it up, and when I get enough skids, I put it in the truck, and it goes to data management. Yeah. Then the uh, glass and the plastic goes to ISU, and, I, and the bags that I go through, they just out this year started recycling these bags, and they go to ISU. I say maybe 100 pounds, maybe a little bit more, because our trucks almost, like I said, it's all, all, almost full, and most of it, quite a bit of it's cardboard, but the other excess stuff is regular paper, newspaper, and stuff like that. Okay, this is where I put my tin. Tin cans, anything to do with tin, like pan, pots and pans, if it's tin, it goes in that the container. And my shredded paper goes in these gables like this. I fill it up. I end up getting inside of it to mash it down because if not, it'll only take about five bags to fill this up. So I just get inside of it, smash it so I can get more in it for more weight. Then after we get them full, I put them back here and stack them up against this wall. That's mostly newspaper, magazines, uh, mixed paper, shredded paper. That's all go to data, data management. Okay, I think one of the big problems with recycling in La Fair is that the cardboard's all the way downstairs. I really don't want to haul my cardboard all the way downstairs. Just put it in the trash closet with the other recycling stuff. Thank you. Um, I think students don't use recycling, like a lot of times they'll just throw their trash away in recycling, so sometimes it either gets confused with trash or um, the right materials aren't in the recycling bin. Um, also, I think that there aren't enough like convenient spaces, so for somebody like me who's um, like in, like I'm in my room and I don't have like a recycling bin that's extremely close. Um. I don't really get to recycle too much here at school. I think that the way our school has our recycling bins, I forget that we can recycle because I just throw everything in my trash here in my room. But when I'm at home, I recycle cans and bottles a lot because I'm from Michigan and you get paid to return your cans and bottles, so there's an incentive. So everyone at home recycles a lot more than I think people do here. On the weekends, every Sunday, I don't know if anyone notices, I always pull the trash can out. That's always me who's doing this because I hate the trash on the floor. Like, that just shows me how you live at home instead of how you should be living. It's kind of gross, dirty, and disgusting that you can't just take the trash bag and pull it off the window and pull it up. And everyone knows it's too full. You can't put trash in there. Just go to the trash closet. 
Um, I think that recycling is a big problem here that people are kind of too lazy to just go and walk out to the middle of the hallway, but one thing that could be better is like out where they have the cans and the bottles and stuff, there needs to be like a bin for paper because all the paper from Big Sis, Little Sis, um, there was a lot of it and there wasn't anywhere to like put it in a recycling bin or anything, so a lot of it just got thrown away and that was a waste.